What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to give some updates on the Sportsman, why it still looks like this, what's going on with it, and what happened to most of my footage. So let's get right into it. So the first major thing, I lost all the footage. I had a phone, I'm currently shooting on a new phone, and my old phone kind of just died. So I lost hours and hours of footage taking apart this fooler and replacing the top end of it with a uh, Red 6 kit. So unfortunately I lost literally everything. I cannot get the phone to turn on and I cannot get any footage or salvage anything off of it. So moving forward from there, the issues with this thing. I had a ton of problems uh, replacing the the top end on it. And I'm gonna bring you guys closer and show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So first, my biggest thing, uh, issue with the kit I got from Rev6, the kit that I bought, you know, didn't come with new head bolts and everything says to replace the head bolts. So I bought a brand new set from Rev6 and they didn't give me the like like torquing instructions on, on how to properly torque this and I had just used the factory specs. I, I don't know if I was supposed to or not. I called them. I even texted them on the little number they gave me. They never got back to me. Whatever. I just did it to that. The next major thing was I broke this head bolt right there off. It was supposed to be torqued to eight foot pounds. I had my torque wrench set to eight foot pounds and unfortunately it was not clicking and, and registering me going to eight foot pounds. I'm assuming that it's too small or too light of a foot pounds to real like like uh, to test or something. I'm not sure, but it snapped that freaking bolt off. Now I should have probably bought a new bolt to begin with, but I didn't. So here we are. I cannot get this bolt out. It broke off into the case, and I'm not messing with it anymore. I couldn't get anything done with it. I tried drilling it, tried every way extracting it. Again, I had all that on footage, but unfortunately, I don't anymore. So I can't really show you guys what it looked like or what happened in the end. I ended up just leaving it. Hopefully, it doesn't leak oil here. If it does, I'll try to figure something out, but I'm not sure what to do. I don't want to have to pull the whole motor out to be able to access the case at a straight angle to drill out that hole because there's no way to access the case to drill it out straight. So on to the next issue, me and my infinite wisdom, I didn't take the time to properly look at the cams and which way they go on this uh, four-wheeler. And I was just trying to get it all back together. It's literally been apart for months. I mean, probably like a month and a half now. It's taking forever to get this thing done. Uh, so me stupidly swapped these cams. And as you can see, this one is a lot bigger. This is the exhaust and intake. And I had them swapped and I couldn't figure out why the motor wasn't turning. I tried to turn the motor over with the key on to see if the valves and everything was working and obviously it didn't work and it broke this i had to buy a new one i'll show you guys that in in a little bit but i bought a new one of those and it actually uh chipped some of the case off so hopefully that's okay again i'll show you that when we get to it but for now that's where we're at i had to order all new parts for that I, I put a new head bolt in down here for this one, and obviously I couldn't replace that one because I can't drill out the hole. Because I've replaced everything in the top end, a piston, cylinder, new, I, the head is the same, the timing chain is the same, the cams are the same, but I had to replace the valves, the seals, all that kind of, you know, the stuff that comes with the master rebuild kit on Rev6. So because I had to replace everything, the tappets all had to be rechecked, and unfortunately, every single one was out of spec. So that's another thing I had to wait on. I had to order all new tappets, and that was all on footage, and I lost everything, which sucks. So now we're just going off of what I am doing now. But I ordered the tappets. I'm waiting on one more to come in. It should be here tomorrow, so the filming should commence then. Hopefully, I get everything back together on this four-wheeler, and hopefully turn it over, and it works. I literally am hoping because I don't want to mess with this thing anymore. It's giving me too much trouble, more than I want to deal with. 
and my garage has been packed full of parts and tools just strung out everywhere. I'm just ready for it to be done. So that's the update. That's where we're going from here. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully, it's a quick little update. I'm trying to make the video short. Uh, again, I have a new join members thing down below. It helps me out a ton. It's 99 cents a month. I don't get paid from, from YouTube yet because I haven't hit the threshold of 1,000 subscribers. And in that case, please subscribe or consider subscribing. Hit the like button. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. And we're going to hopefully start this thing. Hopefully it gets running. All right. Have a good one.